Now in this next example, we're gonna go through three different situations that can arise that each of them are you know, a little bit different, but basically around the same idea. So in this first one, we're not in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So before we can jump into this uh, quadratic formula, we need to be in that form. So the first thing we would do in this problem is we would subtract the three to the other side. Now once we're at this point, we can use the trick. Our middle coefficient's even, so I would definitely do that. I would definitely divide both sides by two, giving us x squared minus 2x minus 3 halves equals 0, so that our a value is 1, our b value is negative 2, and our c value is negative 3 halves. So I want to deal with some of these negatives here. The formula we're plugging into is going to be the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So let's talk about dealing with some of these negatives. For the opposite of b, the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. So we're just going to write positive 2. Now as far as the b squared step is concerned, I wouldn't even bother writing the negative in there. Because you know that whenever you square a number, it becomes positive. So I would just write 2 squared. You can write 4 if you want, but don't even write the negative in to begin with. There's no reason to do so. You know it's going to become positive. Now we have minus 4 times a times c. Now our c is negative 3 halves. But notice what's going to happen here. We have negative 4 times negative 3 halves. What do you get when you multiply a negative and a negative? A positive. So instead of writing both negatives, I'm going to turn it into a positive right now. And just say it's positive 4 times positive 3 halves. Now this is all over 2 times 1. Now in writing it this way, it's going to make our lives easier. Because now 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 halves is 12 halves, or 6. So we have 2 plus or minus the square root of 10 over 2. Now, I would leave the answer like this. If you want to simplify, then that 2 needs to distribute into both the first and second term. So this would become 1 plus or minus root 10 over 2. And root 10 over 2 doesn't simplify. So I would say leave the answer the way that we had it in this you know, boxed-in version here because the other one doesn't really look any better to me. And if you make mistakes in those steps trying to simplify, then you're wrong. So let's go ahead and go through another example. We'll go a little bit quicker as we start to get used to these more. But in looking at this problem, this has fractions involved. And so the reason I put this into the notes is just to remind you, you can clear fractions. If you don't like them, multiply by the LCD. That's going to get us x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0. At which point we could use the trick. Our middle coefficient is even, so we could divide both sides by 2 giving us 1 half x squared minus x plus 1 half equals 0, so that our a value is a half, our b value is negative 1, and our c value is positive 1 half. As I said, I'm going to go a little bit quicker, so I'm not going to rewrite the entire quadratic formula, but I'm going to take the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So that's 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 over 4 is 1. And in the bottom, 2 times a half is 1. 
one plus or minus the square root of zero. Plus zero, one plus zero is one, one minus zero is one. We're only getting one answer and that's okay. You can sometimes get one answer instead of the two that we're used to. Let's go ahead and look at one other example before we uh, move on. This is another example where we don't have our equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So again, we get there. We add 3x squared to each side. We add 3 to each side. And now we're in the right form. Now our middle coefficient is odd, so we can't use the trick. We don't want to divide by 2. We're just going to say a is 3, b is 1, c is 3. So we're going to take the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. So that we have negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 36 all over 6. 1 minus 36 is negative 35. And if I'm taking the square root of a negative, that's i times the square root of 35. And that doesn't really simplify any further. So we will end up with i answers. Expect that.